want to show you also a refugee camp. Okay. Now, now I always think of that as tents, tents and they're out and they're squalor, out, yeah, nothing there, there's nowhere to Sewage yeah. running through the streets. Yeah, exactly. So, but what we can see all around us is, you know, there are fields, there are houses, villages. We're right next to the town of Shechem, which is also called Nablus. Mm -hmm. And, what and the we, Palestinians sort of have own this or have access this to is the, area, This is area A and area B, okay. this is theirs. No, so they can do anything on this they want to, the Israelis can't stop them the from Israelis, building? Or, correct, okay. correct. They can build what they want, where they are. And you can see a lot of new factories, a lot of new apartment buildings. And the thing is, you've got all this empty space. Any normal uh, government would have set up a whole lot of apartment blocks, yeah. cleared out that space, had the people move into the apartment blocks, cleared that space, built apartments there, okay. and then had them go back into their nice new apartment. But instead they want to keep them in this squalor, in this high density living, to be able to take the press there and yeah. say, this is how the Palestinian refugees live. But when a congressman, when a senator, mm -hmm. when a diplomat comes in to yeah. observe and try to help because they feel bad for these people, if they're displaced, if they can't get out of their, their situation, you want to help them, you have mm -hmm. humanity. Um, but they're not stupid. How can they not look at this and not at least say, well, why are we not spreading this out? I mean, mm -hmm. why can't they begin to expose that to actually help these people yeah, for and sure. for real? I mean, well, The perspective is very different when you're down there seeing it standing on the street. So you're not going to see, understand, wait a second, why are they kept in this area? Why right. can't they move there or there or there? So had they cleared this out and began to make, you know, wonderfully more convenient and... Mm -hmm. and, and you know, just better uh, opportunities for these people to live. The moment they would do that, then uh, they would no longer have a story to tell. So you'd say it would be more about losing uh, access to, to, to revenue than it would be trying to keep their story intact? The, it's about keeping the story intact. It's losing their narrative. If the refugee camps didn't exist, and again, they have the keys on the walls and they're promised they'll be going back to Jaffa, to yes. Haifa, mm. to Lod and Ramla. Okay. They're promised. So they stay there, they believe it, and they live in squalor based on that promise.